Hey you guys, it's Lane here with Hobbies Man. Once again, and today we're going to be doing another first impressions review. We're going to be looking at Horizon by J.H., published by Isa Press, as you guys can see right there. This is a very thick book. I don't know how many pages it is, but it's more than uh, even solo leveling, so it's quite a few. Um, and the demographic for this is older teen. I'm not really sure what that means, 16 plus probably. Um, but I don't know what the initial uh, rating for this was in uh, Korea. The genre is post-apocalyptic. Not really sure what other genres are involved here because it's not really horror, it's not really crime, it's not really uh, psychological or a thriller. It is mostly just a post-apocalyptic story um, about this boy who's just walking after a horrible situation in his life. And so I didn't really know what other genres to mention here. So I'll just go with post-apocalyptic and leave it at that. In terms of adaptation, I don't think this has one. And I'm not really sure that this would be something that you can adapt to something else. Like obviously you can, there's always a way to adapt something, but I don't think that there would be any point in it. Uh, this feels like a very much a story that is ultimately for a comic book or a webtoon or whatever the original format for this was um, that is being replicated here, right? So, yeah, um, the story is really interesting. JH is fucked up, man. He has some problems he has to deal with probably um, because both of the series that I have by him, uh, Horizon and the Boxer, deal with some messed up people. And I really like this. Maybe this is, um, like, they're not connected at all, but it could be fun, like a fun headcanon that the kid in this story is actually the main kid in the boxer, but it wouldn't really, you know, match, but it would be a fun kind of headcanon to, to make it work. So yeah, the premise of the story is basically that there is this boy, he has a mother, and the fact that he lives in this kind of war-torn area, we don't know where it is, it doesn't really matter, uh, but his mom ends up dying, um, and he sees her dying in, his, in front of him, he sees her brains blown out in front of him and in front of, uh, like, you know, right next to her body. He picks up like mud or something and he tries to kind of like fix her, but she's dead. And then he realizes his situation. He falls into despair. He kind of breaks. Um, he hates his life and he has nothing going for him, but he can't really die yet. He doesn't really want to, or he doesn't seem to know how to do it and so he just decides to get up and walk and he continues to walk and walk and walk and walk and eventually he finds a school bus and he sleeps there and the morning after he realizes that there's someone else with him it's a girl she's about his age and she also doesn't have anyone and they connect in a very non-verbal way and so now the boy has a girl with him and they walk 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 and eventually they end up meeting this man who is kind of broken. Nothing about him makes sense. And the boy is afraid of this guy. He knows that something's wrong with this guy and that, that it's a danger. But the girl is really compassionate. And so she allows the man to go with him, uh, to go with them, sorry. And eventually the boy is proven right. And so something happens. And now the boy and the girl are alone again. And so they continue to walk. And eventually the story ends actually with them being abducted by some military people. Who knows what the hell's going on? Uh, some of the early stuff in the story felt like it, like it could have been zombies. Some of it just felt like it was just like, you know, uh, soldiers going in and mowing down people. We don't get any explanations. We just see the despair of this child and we see this child walking. And then this child's despair like minimizes a little bit, becomes less because he has a companion. And now his despair is actually kind of changed into this desire to protect and this desire to care about this girl. And ultimately there's also this kind of message about uh, this desire for peace, but also maybe the reality that peace isn't really um, attainable or at least not without some level of conflict um and it's really interesting that's how i kind of interpreted it uh especially with what happens with that old guy that they meet um but it's it's really really good it reminds me a lot of the cormac mccarthy novel the road it kind of has that vibe of like 
solitary despair and a single straight line that the people have to go through. And it's really, really interesting. I really loved it. I thought it was amazing. The art style is really interesting because it's very simplistic, but also provides so much. And then there's these really beautiful pages. And honestly, um, there's these things where so many of these pages just go through. There's a lot of splash pages or, you know, two page spreads, if you want to call them that, uh, throughout this, uh, this book. And I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with it, but I do think that because of the huge amount of, of uh, two page spreads, I would have really liked to see this in a different format. And let me show you what I mean. I would have liked to see it in a format like this. As you guys can see, this is a comic book strip type style where the page is twice as long. And I think that's because it would have made scenes like this one, let me show you, way better because the gutter loss here ruins the image. There is an image of this boy walking alone and I can't see it correctly because of the fact that this is bound like this. If this was a single sheet that was spread across, I would have not had those issues. And there's a lot of problems that happen where you lose all of this because of, of, of this situation. And I would have really preferred it in a format like this one. Sure, it might have not been the best for the other scenes, you know, the scenes where it's like this, where there's two different things going on. But I think that ultimately it would have been better for the story in the wider format um, because that way so many of the really poignant moments would have been easier to appreciate without the gutter loss in the middle of the book. So yeah, that's my only complaint. Otherwise, it's a really, really good story. Volume two just came out. It was soon to come out and a lot of people have received it for uh, Yen Press being like um, nice to them and sending them stuff. Um, but it's one that I'm really looking forward to. I will get it as soon as I can because it's really, really good. There's almost no text. This is purely a art type of story. And if you're someone that's really interested in stuff like that, definitely check this out. It is immensely good. It is so, so meaningful and it has so much stuff going for it. So there you go. Those are my thoughts on Horizon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you thought down below and thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.